Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, another episode on our e-bike project. In this episode, we're gonna show you how we have mounted the rear hop motor on the wheel of the bike that we already had and how we actually coupled the wheel and the crankshaft sensor that you can see here to the controller and we closed the loop. So while you're pedaling, the controller assists you with the torque that it provides on the wheel. So now the loop is closed and we can help the rider to pedal much easier. We're gonna show you how we've tested this, and then later we're gonna see how we want to implement it for future releases. Thank you. So this is how it looks our today test stand. The motor is connected to the power supply. So it's connected directly to our laptop. The performance monitor is activated. And also we connected the torque crankshaft. So the idea is to, to test how torque produced by the crankshaft is helping us to control the motor hub. So no assistance, because you said assistance to the camera. No. Sure? Sure. Okay. We can repeat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we're going to test half load, no assistance condition. Yes, which means the brake is halfway through, pressed, and the uh, solo is completely off. So no torque assistance. Of course, the output of the crankshaft has no use. Please go. So maybe you can talk about the feeling. It's like to, to ride up to like a medium heel. I don't know. Okay. Oh, so you can pedal it, but it's like stopping immediately. So okay. this is something like that. That's so right. now maybe let's turn on the solo and yeah. see the assisted mode. Yeah, let's go. We see the torque as blue and the uh, red as the speed. So now try the same. Here we absolutely have the assistance and it's kind of seamless. Yeah. It moves absolutely. very easily. Like, and you can on see like on the flat surface. Okay. Something on, on, on like gravel or I don't know, some kind of 
medium stones or I don't know because I just I don't implement any any torque. Okay, great. It's kind of effortless. Yes, yeah. And here we have some, for example, you can see some peaks of up to 10 amps of current into the motor, which is translated as torque. Mm -hmm. Now we can increase the load on the brake. Maybe we go to full, fully yeah. brake. Yeah. And then we can compare again the same story. Mm -hmm. so. Now we're going to test full brake, no assistance, and then with assistance condition. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is Great. like I press the lever until the very end. So mm -hmm. now okay. I'm trying to, to pedal to like to implement some force to the to the crank by hand. It's really really difficult. Uh, Almost impossible. This is like okay. <laughs> full pressure. I don't know. It's I think it's impossible to, to ride the bike like that. So. Okay. Great. Now I'll turn it on. Uh -huh. So now we will have the assistance. Okay, let's try again. Mm -hmm. So it no, at least it is manage easily. manageable. Yeah. Yes. So I'm implementing the the force like it was before with the with the half uh, brake. Okay, great. So this is just an indication that how much we are actually assisting. For example, now we are assisting up to 25 amps or so. This controller can go up to 32 amps, so probably can handle severe conditions. Okay, great. Thank you for watching us. Please subscribe to our channel to stay tuned. Just, I mean, for like some okay. fancy, I don't know. So you want to explain? Or no, no, I think I just I will. Yeah, you had a little bit of help, yeah. 10 amps.